So the OnePlus Nord has a 4100 mAh battery and everyone knows it, right? And as per the feedbacks you guys give on the community page, well that combined with my daily user chats help me to conclude about any issues with the device. So the one we are dealing with now is a standby drain on this device. And to be honest, after the latest update, the stats look even worse. As that overnight drain reached around 10 to 12%, up from 5 to 6% earlier. But after going through this series of steps, I was able to reduce it to a bare minimum as of now. So this video is for you in case you are facing this issue. But if you want to wait for an official update from OnePlus, feel free to do so and skip this one. And in case you are not facing it, well good for you, enjoy the experience. For the second part of this video, you need a PC and for the first part, you don't. So we'll be disabling some unnecessary settings and permissions and remove some of the apps that are of no use as such. And I even went a step further and removed the Google app as well because I use it quite less and it can be reinstalled from the Play Store anytime. So I will put that in the optional list of commands that you can use in case you wish to. Plus I'll also attach a way to go back to default with all your apps and everything at the end of this video. So make sure you watch this one till the end. Let's start off with the first part and disable some of the apps now. So first of all go to settings, click on privacy and select advanced from the list. Now click on google location history and disable it as this will prevent unnecessary GPS calls as the device saves where you are going and all that. Now go back, click on ads and turn off both the options. Once again, go back and click on usage and diagnostics and turn off that too. All this will make sure that the system isn't sending any unnecessary data in the background and thus save your battery. Now in settings, go to Wi-Fi and network, click on Wi-Fi preferences and turn everything off and this will make sure your device does not scan for any open Wi-Fi network in the background. Now go to location settings and here turn off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth scanning. But in case you are facing issues with Bluetooth or start to face them, well turn it on again. So after this, go back and turn off emergency location services too. And turn off the location permission if any app isn't using it right now, as that would be for the best. After you have done all this, go back to settings. Now go to system and choose experience improvement program from the list. So disable all of these as these won't do anything good and will only contribute in sharing data to OnePlus in the background, as you can read all that in the description area. And for the last step of this first part, go to utilities in settings and in here turn off the pocket mode from the list. And you can use a dark theme for most of your time to save some juice while hurting your eyes a bit less in the dark scenarios. So you have completed the first part of this video and now you are all set to save some of that extra battery drain in the background. Now the second part requires a PC and a USB type C cable. Also note that this is a bit advanced option and to go back to default completely, you might have to format or install some apps, whatever works fine for you. So please don't proceed if you have some doubts. Now for the more advanced part, we are going to remove all the unnecessary apps from Oxygen OS and you can choose which apps you wish to remove from these commands and the app name is the last keyword of this command. So install the ADB drivers and OnePlus drivers from the link in description area and once you have installed them, connect your phone to PC and turn on USB debugging in developer options. So open the command prompt, type ADB space shell. Now just paste all the commands from link in description area and let them execute. So wait for a minute till the process stops and you are good to go. So this will remove all the unnecessary apps from your device and preserve a lot of battery life. As I tested it for a few days and I got this type of results on 90Hz always on. And I feel this is really good. Now to get all the apps and settings back to default, you can either format your device by going to settings, system, go to reset options and choose factory reset from the list. Do note that this will wipe all your data, so do take a backup before proceeding. And in case you are satisfied with everything, but just want some of the apps to come back, you can download Solid File Manager from the link in description area. So after installing the application, open settings from the side drawer and turn on Show Root Storage option. After this, go to the Root option from side drawer, then go to System, choose App from the list. So this folder has all the apps you just uninstalled. 
You can get any of the application from here and install them normally as you do. So you will end up with all your applications back at least. And if everything fails, just format the device and you'll be good to go. So this was the easiest way to get the best possible battery backup from your OnePlus Nord while reducing the overall drain. And that's it for now. Do like and share this video if it helps you out and subscribe to the channel to stay notified. So I'll see you in the next one.